Hi, welcome to the Blanton's Art Where You Are studio. My name is Monique O'Neill, museum educator for family and community programs. Today, we're outside to make a work of art inspired by land artist Richard Long. Richard Long is an English sculptor who calls his work art made by walking in landscapes. Long's work, also known as land art, typically is made of earth, rock, stone, and other nature-based materials, like this work of his in our permanent collection titled Summer Circle. Making land art is fun and easy. You can make it as simple or as complex as you like. Now for a little assistance today, I've asked my son Luca to join me along for this walk so that we can make something together. To make this land art, you're gonna need three materials. You're gonna need objects found in nature, you're gonna need your imagination, and a camera, which we've got right here. Choose a time during the day to set out for a walk. As you're exploring your outside space, you wanna collect some natural materials that you may see along the way. If you're in the park or in your yard, you can collect sticks, acorns, leaves, or flowers. If you're at the beach or pond, you could collect shells, sand, and pebbles. So Luke and I have been walking and gathering our materials. Um, we have here in our bin a variety of flowers and some seed pods that he found up in a tree and over here some leaves. And as we were walking, we came across this really beautiful stump. So we thought we'd stop here and uh, see what we can make with the materials that we've got in our bin. Now that you've got your materials, what are you gonna make? Spirals, long lines, zigzags, the possibilities are endless. Taking inspiration from Richard Long's Summer Circle, Luke is placing his natural objects in a circular pattern, focusing on creating repetition with the variety of colors and shapes that he's collected. Once you've finished, take a photograph of your sculpture. Land art sculptures are intentionally temporary and left in their environment, so it's nice to have a memory of the work you just made. In a day or two, revisit your work and see how it's changed over time. Compare to what it looked like when you first made it. There you have it, your own Richard Long inspired work of art. What will you title your sculpture? Share what you made and tag at Blanton Museum with hashtag art where you are if you'd like to learn more about the artist and work of art featured today, click on the link below and find our list of resources. Stay up to date with the Blanton by joining our e-news list at blantonmuseum.org slash subscribe and find more activities and resources to museum from home at blantonmuseum.org slash museum from home.